The following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. everybody and welcome to the happiness jungle with your chief happiness officer Lindy Eldridge and we are on the set today with these two fabulous women and it's all about can we talk oh my goodness we have Mrs. Tef Tiffany Taffany <laughs> Taffany uh, Taffany. Ooh, Ooh, Taffany. 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 Taffany and Candy that's right oh. we're sweet we're sweet they're <laughs> sweet well let me just tell you who they really are and then we'll go back to being really really sweet we have none other than the very famous model, TV producer, voice teacher, amongst everything, and an entrepreneur right here in New Hampshire, Tiffany Dunyan. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Dunyan. <laughs> and then we have Miss Cammie Baker, the maverick of networking, or net playing, and she's going to get into that. So excited to have you two ladies. I like thank you, you the, thank you. I like calling you the queen of the jungle. Ooh, I like I that. the queen of the jungle is... Appropriate. All right, all right. Queen of the happiness. Show. All right, you know I'm going. I'm going to accept that. Thank you very, very much. And in sweet this kingdom. playing field, mm, and sweet what? kingdom. With a very sweet kingdom. Oh, with this. Oh, it's like Candyland. Mm -hmm, like Candyland. Well, exactly. We're in the candy jungle. Today. Here we go, guys. Stick we with us. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? We don't know what we're going to talk about. We're just going to talk. We're going to play. We're just oh going to play. Because we don't work anymore. We don't network. We net play. There we go. So can we talk, ladies? Oh, we can talk. Oh, we can't stop talking sometimes. We can't stop talking. You know why I'm so energized about you two being on my show together? Pray tell. Because you bring it on and tell people exactly how to go out there and get it done and look your best to be recognized. Mm -hmm. So what a Recognize. force. What a force we have. Huh. Share a golden nugget. Well, I am fabulous fierce and on fire. And when I went out looking for T-shirts that had nice positive sayings, I couldn't find any. So I'm creating the fabulous Fierce and on Fire t-shirt. I like it. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. The happinessjungle.com is also coming out with that because it's necessary, right? Now, we have a fashion expert. And, I was just And she say. is probably thinking, ooh, a t-shirt. But, hey, there's times when you need to wear a t-shirt, right? That's and if you're going to wear absolutely one, true, wear actually. something that is fabulous, fierce, and on fire. You may as Can well. Can you dress up a t-shirt that says fabulous, furious, and on fire? Yeah, with a blazer over the top of it. <gasps> Chickas, that might be my that. new. That might be my new look. I could do that. Mm -hmm. oh or God. there's always times when you need to sport a t-shirt. Sometimes college kids spirit week, teachers spirit week. It's called home. It's called home. <laughs> well, and you can be fabulous and fierce and on fire at home. So I advocate for people having comfortable things that are for home because you can't you can't be in heels all the time as much as I would love to be. <laughs> you would love to be. I would yeah. love to be, but let's be practical. You need to have that time for the pint of ice cream and the sweatpants <laughs> and yeah. no makeup. You have to allot that for yourself to recharge huh. and re-energize so there is a place for t-shirts. Let me ask you this. As the Maverick, I'm creating a jacket like Maverick from Top Gun. Ooh, cool. Ooh. So as a designing fashionista, if I had a jacket like Maverick from Top Gun and had a t-shirt on underneath it, would that be too much going on? Or would, if it as long as it didn't say the same things, because you want to offset so that each piece really speaks and isn't um, overcrowded or distracted from, if that makes sense. It's about not overwhelming or underwhelming the eye in terms of your fashion, whether you're wearing a t-shirt, bomber jacket, or what have you. So. Well, maybe like with that. the bomber jacket, I'll have a T-shirt that just says Maverick on it. Oh, there you Mm-hmm. With studs? With a lot of studs all around me. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, this is so funny. Uh, I like this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, with all, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. There we go. <laughs> That's funny stuff. I also want to talk to us about... I believe that people are, they want to get dressed up, 
but they no longer want to be with the ties. They no longer, for the gentlemen, they don't want that anymore. They, I think that that's just something that's, that we were raised. You have to look a certain way. But I think today people want to be more comfortable with going out with who they are. I'm finding that more and more in today's world. So share with us, if somebody decides that they want to wear, because there's a lot of people that are, are wearing clothes that have sayings on them now. Some of them just are not fitting. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Well, that's what I found. Let's talk about that for a second. Because for the younger generation that thinks that it's cool to have something on their shirts that they may have gotten from Hot Topic, mm -hmm. <laughs> but they're trying to go out into the professional world, but yet we want them to resonate and be who they are, where else can they go, like in the Hot Topic kind of a, a realm, but yet mellow it down so they're accepted in society? That is a great point. I think, first of all, it depends on the industry you're in. Mm -hmm. If you're in something very creative, like you are a DJ and you're representing your DJ business, that kind of industry, I think, lends more to something casual and upbeat. Uh -huh. So you could always sport some kind of t-shirt with your logo on it and a blazer over the top with denim, okay. if that is indeed your branding. But remember, when you are going to these networking events, as you are the expert in. <laughs> you are branding yourself, and whether we like it or not, we are judged within the first three to seven seconds of people viewing us. So what do you want people's takeaway to be, that I shopped at Hot Topic and I just got my, <laughs> my college degree yesterday, or that you are an established, up-and-coming young professional that is worth somebody's time and effort in investing in you? Well, and I, I think that. that you would also agree, Tiffany, that it is not just what you wear, it's how you wear it. Yes. Mm. It is so important how you wear it. I've got $10 dresses that I feel like a million dollars in that mm -hmm. people just love. And so it's, it's not just what you wear, it's how you wear it. Keeping that in mind, I've just been thinking about this because I was looking for some, po some really positive shirts to wear for some videos. And I was thinking how, you know, uh, on YouTube you can see the videos about water and how water, the molecules of water change. If this glass says, I hate you, you're ugly, and this one says, I love you, gratitude, good stuff, the molecules of the water actually change based on that. So if we are 90% water, do we want to wear a shirt that says, I fart a lot? Or do we want to wear a shirt that says, I'm fabulous, I'm fierce, and I'm on fire? Right. Exactly. Or, exactly. I, or I love me. Or you know, the, the um, life is good shirts. Right. right. Why wouldn't you want to? Because you can still be cool and uh, hip and be wearing a life is good t-shirt right. as opposed to life sucks t-shirt. That's right. You can. And you don't even have to wear a shirt that has a message on it. You can exude the message. Mm -hmm. I think that should be... Paula. The goal for networking is, is that you exude this and that your clothing is the, I guess it's not the afterthought because it's what you're presenting with, but you don't have to have something written across your person. It, you should exude it and your clothing should be a great accessory to that like and that. lend to that. It's the vehicle through which you Whoa. are traveling through. Well, let's face it, usually we're not wearing something that says anything, not when we're mm -hmm. in our That's 20s, true. 30s, 40s, 50s. We're not normally wearing something that says something, but I... I'm a firm believer in it is how you wear it. Yeah, it's true. And I, mm -hmm. I did a video, and I, I've even authored in, my, in a book, and in regards to, because you said it the best, you know, sometimes that's good home clothes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I love that because I also have what's called the Happiness Jungle PJ Party, which is a positive way to go to sleep so you can wake up in the morning looking at yourself with a positive message. Right. So one of my 90s says, you're awesome. <laughs> And when I, I go like to that. bed, I see I'm awesome. And when I wake up in the morning and my hair looks like the afro from the 70s, <laughs> but I look in the mirror and it says, you're awesome. You're still awesome, even I'm with the awesome. afro. <laughs> you know? You know, I found that. So, when I was looking for t-shirts the other day, when I went into one of the stores, um, the only positive ones I could find were sleep shirts. Yeah, get them. Get them. They make a whole different... It just changes. If you could go to sleep smiling, you're going to wake up smiling. Well, I have T-shirts with the Batman logo. There's something about the Batman logo that's very mysterious. <laughs> right. And, like he's one person during the day, but he's another one at night. There's just something. And when I wear the mm. Batman logo, I, all I get is, na, 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 na. Like people walk up by and <laughs> they miss the dip. <laughs> yeah, well. But, but they, you feel great. But I love them. It just makes me feel good. I don't want to wear Spider-Man. I don't want to wear Superman. But I like them. And I'm surprised she doesn't want to wear a bat woman I don't know no it's just not she's me. all about the Batman all about the Batman fabulous mm. that's great so when we when we walk out and let's talk about 
we're just going out just to enjoy a day. It's our day off, a matter of fact. And I want to bring this up because there are people that will just throw their hair in a ponytail. They really won't even try to be a little bit, a little bit, you know, because you don't know where you're going to meet somebody new and where that person is going to channel you. Exactly. So I understand that you have a day off and you don't want to get all make up and you don't want to put on your best of the best. What would you suggest for them just to at least start their day off with the right tone so when they go to the grocery store, the gas station, you don't know who that car is or who that person is that you're, that's looking at you. That's absolutely right. In How do you feel sense, about that? I have two things to say about that. First, if you are feeling like you need to go out and express to the world that you are exhausted and you feel and look like crap, you need to pay attention to your own internal check engine light. Mm -hmm. So it's saying you are overworked, you're not using your energy as efficiently, you're using too much of it and not rejuvenating yourself. So uh -huh. that's a check engine light to me that says, if you want to go out in public like this, you need a nap. <laughs> you need to rest. Yeah. You need to stay in or do something that recharges you. Then after that, <laughs> go out in something that's well put together. It doesn't have to be a three-piece suit or a formal dress. I promise. You can look well put together in jeans, flats, a shell, and a little um, a layer on top of that, whether it's a cardigan or a cute military jacket. Easy. It's easy, and you, you can do light makeup. Throw on some mascara. Exactly. Mascara. It opens and brightens your eyes. The response you get helps with your energy and your right. confidence and how you're wearing the clothes, so mm. it's reciprocal. So if you feel like going out in your pajamas, you need to stay in bed, and it's not a bad thing. It's just your system right. is tired. Sure. Pay attention to that. Then, after you are in your right mind and rested, put something together well and then yeah. go outside on and your go day out. And even That's if you go into a sets. playground, right? Just just enjoy yeah. what, what you're wearing on the outer shell so you could feel good and smile. Exactly. Right? Now you are the maverick of networking and I know that we, we're changing that networking to net play because, and I love that. I do too. That's Today awesome. people, if we could change their mindset. Trademarked. That, trademarked. She trademarked it now. Okay. So ha ha ha. But, I mean, well, good for you neener, neener, because neener. that's what we have to do. We're our own innovators, right? We're our I know own branders, people. We're, it's all about the branding. It is. So I know that I'm branding the happiness jungle. I know that I'm enjoying the brand. I'm having a lot of fun with it. How could you not have fun with a name like the happiness jungle? You, you are the yeah. queen of the jungle. I, I'm well, telling you. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you for recognizing that. I could feel that. Recognize. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Witnessing. You've traveled Witness. with me. Hey. Yeah. Hey, hey. Mega bus. <laughs> Mega bus. Yeah, we'll talk about the traveling on that. <laughs> um, but I, I'm excited because here is where all cards are on the table. There's nothing. This My shows will never be edited. So whatever flies, flies. Because I believe that the public, our audience, is very tired of the the celebrities in the world that show us one thing but yet on the out on the inside they're a mess i want to show our mess so people understand this is for real it's normal you know, it's normal it's fine we're all fine yeah I, I i have been referred to and i'm so blessed that somebody gave me this because it's wonderful i use it being real raw and relatable real raw yes. and relatable from the stage when i'm having conversation just being authentic yeah. and just saying what i feel and sometimes it's not filtered very well, but I, I am appropriate. I understand the appropriate time and place right. for certain filters. Well, that's what I, I love about you because I have seen you speak. I have been to uh, many of your trainings, and you adjust your personality and everything for your audience. Mm. So if you're in front of an audience, and I've seen it that are wild and wild, you're wild and wild because they're paying attention to you. If you walked right. into that setting and you were Cammie Baker who goes into the professional uh, real estate atmosphere, they'd be looking at you like, what, you know? But then the realtors understand, you know, how you presented yourself to them. So the way that you adjust your personality to convey your message to each one of your groups is authentic, real Perfect. Well, thank you for that. Yeah, and, it's and spot on. I love that. It is so important that we, the new rules of networking, we communicate long before we open our mouth. Our bodies are screaming at people. Mm. Our bodies are screaming at people before we even speak. So when we talk about going out and how to dress and how to look and how to feel, it is the communication of what you're wearing, but even more so how you're wearing it and who you're being and mm -hmm. how you feel.
Right. You know, I've got some sweatpants that if I, it doesn't matter really how I walk, I look pretty dumpy in them, and those right. are for home, right? But typically, uh, you know, the way that I carry myself and the way that I work with my clients to, yeah. to really just understand that they're communicating without even talking. Yeah. And then when you get into the conversate, to be able to conversate in a way that's memorable and engaging and being bold and different, don't go to these events saying, what do you do, what do you do, what do you do? Right. Ask people, hey, what are you working on right now? You know, people love it. That's great. Couldn't, couldn't right? you both go on for hours about what you're working on right now? Yes. So much more. And I think people really need that advice because they're like, how do I approach this person? And some of the networking events can be very, some of them are more rigid. Right. Not mine. Not Not, anymore, well, hey. that's awesome. I've yeah. been to a variety of mine's <laughs> <laughs> and so, so you take, at least I'm a person that absorbs and takes on that energy, right. so I have to figure out, all right. <laughs> is it okay to, to say, is it safe to say that not every environment is going to be for you? Absolutely. I think it's very safe to say that. Very it, safe to be able to say, safe. I'm sorry, I'm not for you? Well, yes. And, and that's why it's so important yeah. that all of us as entrepreneurs, as influencers, as mentors, etc., that we have a specific market of people, mm -hmm. specific right. tribes, right. specific group. Because when you try to be everything to everyone, you're nobody to no one. I absolutely agree. And I That's think powerful. one of the most powerful things is, as women we can do, and entrepreneurs in general, pick your clients. Pick people that resonate with you because it will be better for them. It'll be better for you. And you want more people that are your tribe. It doesn't do anybody any good, like you say, to try to make yourself something you're not, to fit mm. somebody that mm. you're not mm. supposed to work with anyway. There you go. You're not supposed to work with everybody. It's I okay. Wanna, I want to take this channel and turn it into the personal channel now. Okay, because we have a lot of viewers that are, they, they stay at home. They don't, they're not entrepreneurs um, out in the, let me repeat that. They're not entrepreneurs in the business professional field. They are entrepreneurs of being homemakers, stay at home, moms or dads, or they just stay at home, which is fabulous because Lord knows that they have a job. They have, behind, the they job. have a hard job, right? Mm -hmm. So for them that feel like, well, wait a minute. I'm, I don't work. I, I can't relate to this show. I want them to relate to this show, and I want everybody to take action. That's the biggest part of my show. I want everyone to understand that no matter whether you're professional um, or whether it's a personal, that there's still networking to do. Because you can, on meetup.com, put in your interest and your likes so you're not stuck in a rut. Isn't that the truth? And so you're always keeping yourself lifted and you're meeting new people. Can we talk about that for, for a little bit? So now we like to go out and we like to do personal stuff. How do you find your group of people where you enjoy, whether it's hiking, whether it's, and now uh, aren't you starting, are you starting to shoot? Or, or, no? It depends, who is it? <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were talking about the gun range one Actually, day. Actually, I was invited to go to the gun range a couple months ago. I haven't done it yet, but I have been invited. All right, thank you. See, I'm not losing my mind. A lady with a gun has more fun. Ooh. Well, actually, I date a guy that's a photographer, and he wants to take a picture of me with the gun. There's something hot about that for guys to see a woman yes, with a gun. Yes, oh, wow. he can do a great concept shoot with that. Those are fun. That, yeah, those are fun. Yeah, he's got the whole um, uh, Tomb Raider outfit thing that yeah. he wants me to wear. Oh, no, see, no. I just don't know where the show is going to go. Oh. I really don't. Let's go That's to arts awesome. and crafts, but, uh, but, well, No, let's go back to what you were going to talk about. Now, my, my tribe typically are entrepreneurs. Yeah. They're business owners. They're commission-based salespeople. They're heart-centered and they're visionary. Mm -hmm. So they have to be positive, forward-thinking. They have to be on the, on the, on the scale of things. If, if in the middle is, is total complacency, way over here is negative and, and, and just total lethargy. Yeah. Over here is bliss and happiness. They got to at least be on that side. Uh huh. At least be on that side. Okay. I want, I want to work with people who've already gone through the work to get further on that side. Um, and so that's just the people that typically resonate with me. But, you know, there's also people that I've been working with that I do. You were asking about our personal side. Yes. Like, how did you get from there? Because I was there. Yes. I have been on that side of the spectrum. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've, I've had addiction issues. You know, I, I have no beef about talking about that. Oh. And to be able to get out of the addiction issues and get into, I, have, I did an interview yesterday, and this woman said, "Where? how did you go from there to here? And I said, because it was one day that I said no more. And it was the people. Mm. Back to your point. It was the people that I associated with. And so the people that I was associating with, that was normal behavior. That was not only accepted, it was expected. Oh. And so when I totally 
isolated and got in the desert and dried out in the desert. On the other side of the desert, there were all these other people saying, come over here, the water's great, the grass is greener. Mm -hmm. And so when you talk about going to meetups and people who are at home, maybe taking care of kids all day or, mm -hmm. or just quiet or, or alone or feeling alone, fix that, yeah. so you fix it. Don't wait for somebody else to fix it. You can go on meetup. You can go to the movies with women tonight. You can go bike riding. You can go walk your dog with other people in the dog walking park. There you go. As long as you get with people that are on that side. Don't go to the people yeah. over here. Moving you forward. Get on that side. Find people who have like-minded um, uh, hobbies or right. interests, but that are positive about them. I like that. I did a video, and it was called... Did somebody piss in your Cheerios or <laughs> fill your bowl with life? Huh. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> That's a heck of a title. Isn't that? Yeah. It, but it, isn't that true? So are you sticking around with people that are pissing in your Cheerios? Or are you looking across the street and say, whoa, there's some life over there. Yeah. Maybe I should try that side. Life's not easy, but you can be happier. We have all, I think every person on this planet, everything that moves and breathes, has some kind of an addiction. Some are more intense, whether it's alcoholism or whether it's drugs. There's food addictions. Mm, right? Relationship addictions. Relationship addictions. Gambling, money issues. We money all is have an addiction. addictions. But it's up to us to control the addictions and to move, just like you said, on a different side where there's more positive people doing the things that we wish we were doing. Hey, right? at the end of the day, we have choices. What we have over all animal species are mm -hmm. we make choices. We have choices. We can Which make decisions. Which way do we go, George? Which, Which way do way we go? We go? Mm -hmm. Which way do we go? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's absolutely right. I think if, there's so much to be said about that. And I think when you talk about that spectrum, you're going to bounce between days. Some days you're going to be on this side of it. Yeah. And, and so it's, and some days you're going to find <laughs> You have to work a little harder. Yes. And it depends on, like you say, what group of people you're hanging around. It's energy. Everything is energy. And so you are around that. You marinate mm. in it. You take on its qualities. Yep. Mm -hmm. There's a lot to be said for learning how to filter that and learning how to find your tribe of different people, whatever you need to do. And it, for a lot of people, I think everybody, it's, it's constant. It's constant it trying to move that forward. And life is just that struggle, but you can get there. And I think that's the silver lining. To it. I just watched the movie Silver Linings Playbook last night. Anybody see that movie? I heard it was fabulous. It is. It's great. It's, it's a great kind of crazy. Mm. I love it's it. It's a great kind of crazy. But it's honest and it's, it's authentic. And I have a thing for authenticity, genuineness, and honest people. Mm. It does something for me. I just, I adore it. And so that's what I love about this conversation is that we can find that genuine, authentic yeah. spot and talk about it because other people out there, other women are going through the same thing and we're not presenting something that they celebrities are. And men are. and children. I mean, this everybody. is not just geared towards women. I mean, it's everybody. There, there's right. a full gamut here that we're all confused. We're a very confused society today. I'm very well, con convinced of that. You know, yeah. I, I'm so glad that I've gone through all the things that I've gone through yeah. because it makes me a better coach, makes me a better friend, it makes me a better listener, it makes me a better student. Yeah, you know, it makes me a better mentor. Makes me a better human being. To Aren't you able to learn that. more about yourself when you're in a more positive, influential inner circle? You have to have a breakdown to have a breakthrough. Mm -hmm. So whoever's yeah. in a breakdown right now, just know the breakthrough's on the other side. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Destruction begets creation. Mm. So mm, that's powerful. it's very it is very powerful, and you're going to go through it more than once. Mm -hmm. I find Yay. myself going oh, through things like want the same thing every ten years, just in a different way, so you can circle back and learn more. Mm. Like you learned it here at twenty. Yeah. Now let's in. You're like, didn't I do this when I was twenty? But you're learning different things, and what I found I'm learning is that I'm growing in my love and compassion mm. when I'm looking at this. Mm -hmm. So I'm loving myself enough to remove myself from whatever it is that's toxic, but doing it in a loving capacity instead. Out of, out of fear and that collapse. So it's about standing in your own personal power through mm -hmm. time and time again and growing in that. Girl, I got to speak on that because I was just having a conversation a couple of days ago on what you're talking about, how sometimes you can slide back and forth to go either mm -hmm. side. I was on the phone with somebody that's near and dear to me at, talking about this, and I said, you know what, it's not about me hating someone or not wanting to talk to that person. I said, for me, because this was, relationship was about why aren't you talking to so-and-so, right. I said, for me... I can go, I can spiral down, mm -hmm. 
I can get caught up in the negativity and lay in bed all day and the whole thing just like anybody else. The difference between somebody who lets life spiral them down and myself is that I will remove myself from the situation and say, you know what, right. it's not about you. It's not about me hating you. It's not about me not liking someone. It's about me loving me mm -hmm. enough to know what my boundaries are and right. to know that wow. if I get in this conversation, I'm going to go right down the rabbit hole too and I'm just not doing it, not having it. Yeah, right. I like that. And there's a lot of ways that we could go ahead. I know that when I was going through my trying times, and, mm. and that's life. Life is one big roller coaster, but it's what are you literally feeding yourself? Mm -hmm. Not only nourishment-wise. You know, it's funny. I, I bring donuts and coffee all week for the guys here because they're just so sweet. A matter of fact, thank you so much, guys, behind the scenes because they do so much. Yeah, yes. seriously, so Clap. much. Kudos. And, uh, yeah, so, you. but the, but today, and I said, you know what? No, I'm go. I I'm not going to bring them the donuts and the coffee. So I brought them vegetables, and I brought them water, and I brought them fruit, and a little bit of the smart popcorn, and um, and and one of the the good granola bars. Right. Something more nourishing. You know how excited they were. I thought they were excited to get donuts and coffee. <laughs> But it's just the little things that we tweak in our day to help us and help our surroundings feel better. And now everybody in this inner circle, because after I leave the set, they'll be like, oh. But today I've noticed every time I walk out, they're like, hello. So there's also a clue. What we digest is who we also become. You are what you eat. You Amen. are what you eat. So we garbage only have in, a few more out. minutes. I want to ask each one. First of all, thank you girls so much for being a part of the stage. Can We Talk is so special to me because here we just drop everything. We're as real as real could be. Mm. And to have you two women who have never met before be able to mingle. Yeah, yeah I think we did yeah. pretty good, right? We did, you did amazing, right? girls. From my heart thank to yours, you. may you always thank have you. good energy and bring it on and let it go and release it. Boom, boom. So Thank everybody you. from thehappinessjungle.com, from yours truly, the happiness chief, um, I'm the very queen excited. Of the, jungle. Uh, the queen of the jungle. We never said that life was easy, but we did say you can be happier. And I'm super excited. I'm just coming out with a new book that's called Sunrise to Sunset and Everything in Between. So if you're stuck in a rut, you definitely want to check that out. Nice. Can they also find you? How else can they find you? Real quick, girls. KimmyBaker.com. KimmyBaker.com. Mingle to millions. TiffanyDunyon.com. TiffanyDunyon at gmail.com. These are my ladies. Have a nice day, a nice evening, whatever time it is you're watching the show, but be happy. The preceding program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters.